Welcome, this is Joshua Benoist in Autodesk Product Support. So we're on video 14 where we're talking about beveled takeoffs and how they look different between 2008 and the newer versions. Here's a quick problem statement. Pause the video if you need to, to read that. And let's move on. Okay, so where we left off, we just made ourselves a reference plane, which I believe is anchored to this origin here. Um, now what we need to do come back here to reference planes and say add another plane. This one's going to be an offset from that and we'll, we'll call this offset 1. Say OK. Select reference plane. We're going to choose our reference plane. Select offset from work plane and I'm just going to arbitrarily choose a distance here. Boom. Notice it put my new work plane right there. So this distance, you can't really tie it to a physical dimension. It's not like I dimensioned between them, but if I come down here to this thing called model parameters, it created this WP of 1 value here. This WP of 1 value is the distance between this work plane and that one. And I want to set it equal to this length A1. So guess what? I can come down here and say edit, click on WP of 1, click on calculator, click on variable, and say, what was that, length A1? Um, I think that's right. So anyway, length A1, good, close, voila, and look, it popped it out to the distance that I want there. So I got another uh, work plane. I want to make another one that's offset this distance. And uh, so I'm going to come back up here to work planes, add work plane, I'm going to say offset, I'm going to call this one offset 2. And I'm going to grab this work plane and I'm just going to come out an arbitrary value. So it threw it right there for me. And come back here to model parameters. Notice it made a WP of 2. So I'm going to say edit that. And we're going to go down here, scroll down to WP of 2. And we're going to set that equal to length A2. Say OK. Say close. And notice it put it out here. You know, these, these work planes extend to infinity, so just because it's the shape of that side of that object, um, don't worry about that. It, it really does go out to infinity. Um, all right, so now we've got some work planes that we can draw some profiles on. What I want to do is come here to my XY plane and make it invisible. I'm going to make these other ones invisible. I don't care about this origin one. And we've got offset one and offset two. So let's let's work on offset one first. Okay? So we've got that one there. And I'm gonna let's say let's go to this this here. Okay. We need a point now on this work plane. With this point right here, it exists on the XY work plane, but it does not exist on this work plane yet. We need an origin point, basically, to um, work off of. You know, kind of an origin point for that work plane. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here to Offset 1 and right-click. We're going to say Add Geometry. And we're going to say... Projected geometry. Point. Let's add the point reference first. Select existing point. It's on the XY plane, and we're just going to choose this one. Okay. So notice it added a green one there, which is our reference point for this work plane. Um, and notice it added it down here. But I really want this rectangular profile on that work plane. So that point may have been mute, like a mute point. We may not have needed it. We're going to say add geometry.